Good morning. Uh, it's Mr. T. I am out sick today, um, but I want to make sure you have something to do. I find that typically when I'm out sick, very little gets done. So I'm giving you a video like I do for my virtual high school students <coughs> um, in an effort to keep you on track and make sure something gets done. Also, um, there will be a quiz on Thursday. I know we don't have class tomorrow on Wednesday, but on Thursday there will be a quiz on what, what I'm going to explain to you now. This, by the way, is one of the easier things in the history of Latin language. So um, not too much to do, but don't neglect to do it because it will be quizzed on Thursday. So for today, text exercise 35 F, G, H, and I. That seems like a lot, but I'm really... Uh, guessing that you can get this done um, inside of the 50 minutes that we have for class or so um, easily I think with time to spare so there it is F G H and I I'll go through them very quickly right now um, we're gonna skip E so no sweat on that now 35 F shows you adjectives from either first to first or second declension or third declension right here. Now the rule for these is given right above on page 74. The basic rule is if it's us a ah, um, its adverb becomes a. Strenuous, uh, like like strenuous becomes strenue, strenuously. Us a ah, um equals the letter e, a long e. Um, there are little exceptions along the way I would read through this through carefully for ad adjectives of third declension like this one audax audacus or bravest bravest brave prudence prudentis typically they're gonna end with some f well they always end with ter but audax audacter brevis if it's I right there I think it's always breviter if it ends with prud like an NS all you do is add, uh, you take basically the genitive stem and add an ER onto it so that it ends NTER prudenter um, and I think the only way to you know do this is to get used to seeing a variety of them but for the most part they will end with TER for sure um, exception of course uh, it's Latin, uh, of course, so there are exceptions, but um, faculus, not faculitaire, but faculae. So note that for now. Um, I want to say difficilis, which means difficult, also is something like difficile, uh, difficultly, or in a difficult way. Okay, so when you look at these, you're going to see how fast this will go. Ignavos aum becomes ignave lazily. Fortis, fortis, forte. Brave me, becomes fortiter, bravely. Um, negligens, negligentis down here. Negligenter, which I think you have seen for sure. Again, us a um. Lentus becomes lente, slowly. That one's easy. Then you have the various degrees of adverbs. And these bear a, a resemblance to the adjectives that we looked at. So, lite obviously from litus originally, lite, happily, litius is the comparative, that looks like the adjective comparative for like a neuter uh, adjective, litius, but it's always eos for the comparative, and then isime for the most part, but notice again the exception here, calerime, so not calerissime, but calerime, um, for the most part though, isime. So, there are uh, different translations of the comparative, just as a word for adjectives. Litius is uh, more happily when you use it with a, a qualm, maybe, like uh, uh, Flavia sits more happily than Cornelia or something like that. Then you could say Litius quam Cornelia. But it can also stand on its own, and it can mean something like rather happily or too happily. And again, that is given... Where? Where is it given? Ah, it's given down below. I would just read through this. Everything from 74 up to 76 would be good to read. Um, no, I'm sorry. i got to get back to where I was here. Where was I? Where was I? Okay, right, okay. Um, so, 
Lightissime, very happily, most happily, Felicissime, most luckily, Kelerime, most swiftly, very quickly, something like that. So they don't change forms like adjectives, so they're easier, and that's good. But there are irregulars, just as there were with adjectives. If you remember, bonus, melior, optimus. Now we have bene, melius, optime. So melius, again, looks like it could be an adjective, but depending on the context, you decide whether it's an adjective or an adverb there. Male, peos, pessime, facile, facilius, facilime. All of these or any of these may be on this quiz on Thursday that I mentioned. Um... So then for 35G, all you have to do is fill in the charts. On one side, you have adjectives. On the other side, you have adverbs. So this is a bit of a review. Lentus, lentior, lent, lentissimus. Um, but for adverbs, lente, slowly, lentius, rather slowly, too slowly, more slowly, and lentissime, very slowly or most slowly. Note there are new words down here that are used. Um, uh, where here, Kertus and Rectus here. Um, this is done certainly, and this is done rightly. Uh, so that's 35H, and then, no, sorry, that's G. This is H and I. These are the last two things you'll have to do today. Uh, just translate, and then translate into English down here. So, diutius manere mihi non licet, necesseus mihi calerime ad urbem redire. Um, it is not allowed for me to stay. Diutius is a comparative form of diu, which means for a long time. Let's see if I can find that here. Here it is. Diu for a long time. Diutius for a longer time. Diutissime for a for a very long time. So we jump back. Oops. We jump back to diutius for a longer time. So basically, I can't stay longer in a nutshell. Nekeseus mihi calarime ad urbem redire. There's the superlative adverb. It is necessary for me to return very quickly. Calarime. Not calarissime again, but calarime to the city. So very quickly to the city. Um, number two, this boy writes the best of all. That's a, a superlative adverb there. He writes the best. Not he is the best boy, but he writes the best of everyone. Um, so that shouldn't take too long either. 35i obviously may take a little bit longer. Where are the adverbs that you have to uh, render in Latin? So very late, again, if you look for late up here, I think it is given. Here it is, sero. So that's on page 75. Again, read through this carefully. Sero, serios, serissime. So with that in mind, we'll use serissime. Euclides, rediet, domum, serissime, I think, for number one there. Um, where are the adverbs here? He lay motionless a long time. He lay. Well, I'm not going to tell you that. You're going to figure that one out. A long time. Um, du is for a long time. And rather slowly would be lentius. That's the comparative of lente. So rather slowly. Euclides had to walk through the super. Too bravely. That's also a comparative of fortiter, which is fortius. Too bravely. And then as quickly as possible, look right here. We see quam calerme. Quam, when it is used with a superlative, becomes as something as possible here as quickly as possible and then he lay in the mud a very long for a very long time so again du uh, for a long time a very long time again would be du tissime so there's your head start I believe that you can get this all done I know this video took a little bit longer than I wanted to um, but 35 F G, H, and I at a quiz on Thursday to check that you've done this, okay? Good luck, and I hopefully will see you tomorrow or Thursday.